Hello, hello, one and all. How are you doing? This is Rob uh, with another gaming update for Yaz. Well, that's a bit dark on there, isn't it? Yeah, you know, it's um, talking of dark. Don't worry about s one part of the screen there being dark. Maybe I can correct that with some light. Probably not. Well, anyway. Things have been a bit dark at the table as well, you know? And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It hasn't all been as massively positive as it could be. If I go through these system by system and just give you a general update on things. So, things uh, on the online gaming group with Dark Heresy, that's all gone to shit because... Um, generally a misunderstanding between uh, conceptual uh, ideas for what my character was supposed to be doing and the understanding of the GM on the fact that those things were actually you know what my character was doing and there was just a general problem in that that it was very easy to get ignored anyway because of some of the louder personalities and some of the behaviour of, of, of the people there um, a general falling out as it were and and disliking some of the uh, the attitude there so uh, yeah that, that fell down and seemingly a GM who'd been really really good um, up to that point who's it kind of feels as like um, lost the handle on it a bit, which is kind of a shame, really. Uh, so yeah, I'm not part of the Dark Heresy thing anymore, and you know, a second failed campaign on that is quite enough for me for Dark Heresy. So that finishes it as far as I'm concerned. I'm never touching Dark Heresy again. It's not going to happen. So yeah, that's Dark Heresy. Uh, we had been trying to play Death Watch, you know, the uh, in-person sort of games um, with, you know, my main group. And the guy that had been running it didn't really want to run anymore. Yeah, he hasn't come out and just said that. He's more said, well, he hasn't got time and he hasn't had time to prepare it and this sort of thing. But, yeah, it's kind of working out that way. But it would be easier if we just sort of like knew he wasn't going to do it. There's, there's that difficulty sometimes with people, isn't it? And it's like, the more you ask, oh, are you doing it? Because you haven't said you're not doing it. And the more we're kind of pressuring him, and then it's... I don't know. That's the, that's the thing about these things, isn't it? You're, you're not just playing games, you know. You're dealing with people, and there's so much potential drama and other things all wrapped up with it that you have to incorporate at least elements of that and try to keep the bad end of that away as much as you can I'd love to play more Death Bot. Uh for two pins I would take it and, and run it but I'm supposed to be running other stuff myself I was supposed to be uh, running Star Wars, I'll, I'll get onto that in a, in a sec we should have been in it by now but uh, Laurie I've I've put Dragon Age down to like a, a a here and then kind of thing. I don't want everyone to get burned out and too sick of it. We've done a hell of a lot of sessions. So Laurie has jumped us into Pathfinder. So we're running through that. I've got a tree man monk. And uh, yeah, he's a crazy, crazy character. And we're having a lot of fun with that. Level four. It's a great, you know, system in of it as an RPG. Lots of leveling up options and things like that going on. You can see there's, there's more to do there than, say, Dragon Age or whatever. But ultimately, still, it's one of those set in stone in the old fashioned manner games in which, you know, it, it feels like an RPG until you get to combat. And then, just like any RPG, it feels like a grind. Combat always feels like a bloody grind. And that was being the case in. All the systems I've ever played up up to this point, you know, even when I've been like GM of something like Dragon Age, and I've and I've been looking at it and and, and feeling helpless to the grind feeling of the RPG, and wanting to s somehow find some way around that. Uh, 
It's something that breaks combat up and makes it look a bit more interesting and feel a bit more interesting. And You know, with Dragon Age, stunts did that for a while, but even then, you know, that eventually wears off the novelty of that. And you, um, yeah, I don't know. It would be nice if there was something, wouldn't it? Something else, some other degree of interactivity that... Uh, lets you do something else with your character there in the combat. I haven't quite worked out what yet, but yeah. Uh, I think the the Star Wars thing actually is going to need a whole separate video because I'm running out of uh, runtime on this device. Gosh. So uh, yeah, Star Wars update, that will be a video uh, in of itself. So I'm going to conclude this one here and tell you what has gone wrong with that so that we are temporarily put off from doing it. Uh, so that's the first part of the update done, and I will see you at the table.